You are there ladies and gents, how's it going? We are out, out green lane in. Um, I'm out with Big Perry, as usual, and Phil 480, but we've also got another TRF member, uh, a chap called Alan, joining us as well. Um, this is our first time doing these lanes, so we've no idea what to expect, no idea how easy, difficult they're gonna be, and uh, yeah, I'm leading. <laughs> Um, it's going to be an awesome day, we've got quite a few lanes down this part of the world, we're in East Sussex and um, it's always nice to explore new places and all that sort of stuff isn't it? So uh, yeah, should be good fun. Um, yeah, right, this little one here is only a little one. Oh, <laughs> Rutty McTutty. Yeah, so this hasn't been uh, ridden very much for a while. Wowzers, this is proper overgrown. <sighs> Having to guess where the trail is. I'm in this rut now, I've I've committed. <laughs> Wowzers. That's one overgrown lane. Jesus. The rut's too deep for me to get out of, so I'm stuck here. But I think we are now just about at that end of that lane. Awesome stuff. Wow, that's, that's a warm up. <laughs> Keep that bar from a side down. It's a good little explore today because, like I said at the start, it's all new lanes to me, all brand new lanes to me. Um, and that's kind of the whole reason. I wanted to get this a prettier is so that I can go further afield and um, not be having fuel anxiety and all that sort of stuff and uh, it's proven to be exactly that motorcycle God, this is quite quite bumpy <laughs> which is fun 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 it is so awesome getting out on the motorcycles on days like this all the rainy days that we've had so far, they've just vanished from my mind almost. And now we can just enjoy the trails, the sunshine, and the pretty smells and sights. So the longest lane I've been on was when we went down to Salisbury last year. And there was one which was like about 10 kilometers long. And this one's definitely gonna be a, a second place to that with five miles. So five miles, that's what, eight kilometers, something like that. Um, yeah, yeah. Epic, fantastic, awesome. Some lovely houses, really, really lovely houses. Worth several pennies, I imagine. Several pennies more than I'll ever have. <laughs> right, so first gear, Rooty McTooty. Some of these routes are quite slippy. Had the back kick out quite a bit there. Well, for me, quite a bit. For you, it's probably not even a millimetre. Awesome. And another nice house. Fantastics. Yeah, I wonder if one of them came a copper on them routes because this thing was sliding around on them a little bit. Oh, let's go see what's going on. Oh. You all right, Phil? Yeah. Did you hit, hit the route? Messed it up quite badly. Um, yeah. Is that supposed to be this way? Yeah, I know. Is the bike right? Broken? Uh, Your screen's got again. Screen? Oh, yeah, screen. Obliterated. <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah, I, I twisted my knee, so. Oh, no. Yeah. yeah. I think that's definitely me done. So. Bugger. Oh, well, that's a damn shame. I think uh, Phil has probably made the right decision though by calling it if he has twisted his knee because even if it doesn't hurt properly at the moment it will by the end of the day and uh, the last thing we want is for him to actually hurt himself properly. So the lanes commence and continue and do onwards and upwards things. Um, yes, yeah, another overgrown one here and it's only a little one as well. Uh, but exciting stuff, going through shrubberies. It's been a shrubbery! 
I did that. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like most of the lanes are all just old roads effectively um, with hard surface rather than mud uh, which keeps things a little bit easier mostly um, but it does make it a little less challenging not that I'm wanting too challenging today not after the abuse I've given this uh, recently on some of the, the lanes that I probably wouldn't have chosen to do on this if I'd known they were as good as they were <laughs> but uh, it did it with a plum, it did it fine, did it no problem at all um, so the bike's capable, it's just me that isn't <laughs> but look at this, isn't this lovely? awesome, absolutely stunning now this lane uh, we double back on ourselves so we go this way and then we go back onto a road and then we come up uh, another one that joins back onto this oh, that's nice go each side why not take a side thank you so what is that why would you go to either side why not go to one side one side one side makes sense both sides doesn't uh, that's getting proper now, proper now. It's a good climb this. Oh, back end skidding all over the place. Tracted up it, no problem at all. Awesome. Fantastic. Two headlights behind me, that's what we like to see. Well, actually, we'd like to see three headlights behind me. But sadly, no fill, no more. This is really nice, this is. I mean, I, as I say that I, I, it wasn't challenging and stuff, but actually, it's just nice to chill out nice to chill out and just enjoy the ride I've got to shut my visor getting a face full of bugs bugs dirty little bugs oh there we go cool okay yep that's the way we're going to be coming back up in a minute I really feel like I'm gelling with this bike more and more every single ride um, I'm, I'm not at the stage I was at with the beta when I put that away <laughs> so I'm going to have forgotten how to ride that when I get that one back out in the winter um, yeah I'm definitely not at the stage I was at with that because obviously I've had that quite a while now um, but I was definitely definitely feeling like I've got some confidence on this now you know that's going to bite me in the arse though having said that <laughs> I'm just gonna whiskey throttle it into a tree or something stupid awesome A lovely lovely part of the world eh? A lovely part of the world indeed. I don't think I can get up here. I'm willing to try. The advantage of lightweight. Man, this is slimy. It's well, well slippy. Slippy McSlippy. Oh, sure if I'm deep breathing down at you. It's not any ASMR video intentionally. <laughs> yeah, so I was saying, um, I wanted to keep it easy today. <laughs> Yeah, that was an up. Oh, gosh, nearly went again. All right. Man, I am out of breath. This is slimy. I made the mistake of not bringing any water with me. So we are going to have to find a place to get some water at some point.
Oh, that's slidey here. I don't know whether there's anywhere where we're going to be able to get past these guys. Might have to just wait. back out into the awesome South Downs. So this one is another one that we sort of double back on ourselves with, um, but we've got to do a little bit of road work to uh, get around to the lane that comes back down. Um, I'm not sure whether it's that one that those girls waited for us on or, or what, but there's a, a lane. Ah, that's it there. Okay. Yeah, so that's the lane there that we're going to be coming back along. Uh, hopefully the horses will have gone out of our way by then um, and they're hopefully coming this way but I don't know it could be a little bit awkward but we just pull our bikes to the side of the road if uh, they are coming towards us it's a good little explore this good little explore so we've not done any venturing into East Sussex at all on the green lanes uh, this is completely my first time in this part of of the world uh, don't be too deep no you're not cool <laughs> Bez probably won't go through that, but I like puddles. And um, yeah, so first time in this part of the county exploring the lanes down here. Now hopefully the horses didn't come up this way, they've gone straight on and... Sorry mate. Right. Yeah, it's horses. I was hoping they were going the other way. Sorry mate, I should have given you some warning. No problem, sorry, I, I hope we'd missed you. <laughs> no, no, you have a lovely day. Thank you very much, thank you. Alright, so we should be clear for horses now. <laughs> I like horsey people, they are generally, generally the nicest of other lane users, green lane users. Um, I guess there's a mutual respect, so we all just behave each other. Be behave each other? Behave ourselves around each other. And that's how it should be. That's how it should be. Oh, it's skinny here. Oof. My map reading isn't amazing, but we're getting there. We are getting there. We're only getting a little bit lost on occasion. <laughs> but this is skinny. This one hasn't been used very much, I don't think, by us motorcyclists. Oh, shit. Shit. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Ass. Um. Yeah. This wasn't on the map. I wasn't expecting a bridge. <laughs> oh well, fun again. <laughs> well, this is pleasant. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that was exciting. All rutty. All righty. Oh, gosh. Whew. 
Doing a disappearing act on me, are you? <laughs> Damn it! It was kind of awesome having that little bridge crossing. Kind of not awesome having my second off on this bike, but it's going to happen. It's part of the course with the type of bike it is and what I'm doing with it. And the fact that it's just that squidge too tall for me. Now hurry up a prettier, please, please, please bring out that lowered seat. It's just 20 centimetres, that will really help me, it really will. I'm really not feeling the ruts today, I'm really, really not enjoying them. <laughs> um, but then, I guess, I've just had my confidence dinked, haven't I, by, by dropping the bike because I got st stuck in a rut. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky, is to know which rut to go in. Um, and I'm opting for the left one. Oh which was a bad move because it feels like there's another rut even further to the left um, and the ground drops away so if I have to put my foot down I've only got one side man I'm all over the place after my earlier burst of confidence in the bike and how I was feeling with it well, I've well and truly been put back in my place <laughs> um, and rightly so don't run before you can walk and all that sort of stuff. Don't get cocky, that's how you get hurt. Even though I'm riding around in first gear on all these lanes, I'm not really noticing any problems with heat um, that a lot of people have talked about. But then over in the UK, it, it's not quite as hot as in Arizona and what have you, is it? Um, and maybe I'm just not riding it as hard as other people do. No, I'll go first, because if I can't get through, I can't get through. But yeah, more nice lanes. All easy peasy stuff, which is good because earlier on I was like, uh, uh, don't like this anymore, don't like this anymore. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it's amazing how quickly once you 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 have a, a, a falling off that you realise that your confidence is gone. Um, and I, it takes longer to get it back than it does to lose it. <laughs> Worry about him jumping up at me as well. <laughs> this is kind of cool, kind of cool indeed. I think we follow the river actually, yes, yeah, from what I remember when I was looking at this route, we follow the river around. Um, or stream, whatever you want to call it. Oh, it's nice that it's opened up now, we've got some view. And it's not rutted either, so it's, uh, it's nice, it's in good condition along here. But still wild, if you know what I mean. It's got green bits, green bits, we like green bits. But don't fall off to the left. <laughs> that will be one wet day <laughs> and one wrecked motorcycle. I can, I think. I was just saying to myself, I don't want to fall off to the left because that's a long drop into water. Well, it's not into water, you've hit the reed. Oh, okay, you're not, oh. you're not under on the thing. Okay, all right. Yeah, I think that was bad. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 
You're all right. Yeah, what happened? Um, it looks like you caught the rut. Remember the time when I did the same with my BMW? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly the same. Just, uh, except uh, you didn't fall in place for me as I did. Yeah, the grass grip these tyres isn't as good, it would seem, as its uh, mud grip. Um, yeah, I guess different treads for different terrains and all that, isn't it? Um, but uh, although I have got the tyres on off-road pressures, woof! Jesus! Yeah, yeah. I'm absolutely whacked, I really am. Um, massive misplanning of this route. Uh, and Pez very wisely said, I, I need to think about more things than just a nice route. Oh gosh, gosh. And now I'm in this rut here, which is deep in the bike. Well, my handguards have some... Oh, God, not again, not again. Oh, my handguards have so far survived. Oh, I've got no energy. I've got no energy. I'm not feeling hungry, but I've used all my reserves of energy. Just holding the bars is an effort now. Wowzers. I think for me, this is my last lane. I'm even struggling to enjoy these roads. I've just, I'm spent. Absolutely spent. Which is so sad because it's beautiful around here. Well, lessons have been learned today, that's for sure. Organising a route isn't just a case of plotting some points on a map and uh, I grossly overestimated my ability on this bike. Um, so yeah, yeah, interesting day, lessons learned. Now I need, I need some sugar and fluids. So today's ride has pretty much been a day of lessons for me. Um, one, in planning routes to make sure you plan for breaks. Two, make sure you bring some water and maybe a bar of chocolates. And three, don't think confidence gives you ability. <laughs> um, as you saw from this video, um, I've come off this bike today more times than I think I've come off my beta in the time I've owned that and that's just in one ride I might be wrong um, I'm probably wrong but yes yeah adventure bikes they're confidence inspiring but they don't make you an adventurer they don't make you Captain Scott just because you, you you've got an adventure crash helmet and a set of RST textiles um, yeah yeah so I think I'm going to learn from this as a positivity thing, a positivity, a, a positive thing, that 
there's nothing wrong with taking a bike like this off-road but you're not ever going to do it by yourself unless you know the lanes that you're taking it on are ones that you can manage because if I hadn't been with other people today that would have been the sketch I, I, I would have been stuck uh, I, I wouldn't have been able to pick it up um, and I wouldn't have been able to get out of that boggy bit uh, yeah yeah some big lessons learned today and I am humbled by what I've learned and um, positive from it too uh, yeah yeah I just want this blooming low seat to turn up <laughs> that will make a lot of these issues that I had today less of issues I'm not saying it, it would stop them happening uh, but if I could have got my feet down I could have stopped myself falling over on some of those occasions not all of them necessarily um, so yes come on Aprilia give us that seat please give us that seat thank you very much right well the lanes and traffic are not much fun around here um, yeah all national speed limit rubbish 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 so uh, let's call this one shall we it was very awesome to meet Alan I do hope that we get him out again um, I'll show him some of the Surrey lanes or get Pez to Pez is a much better map person than me as today showed <laughs> we got where we were going but um, yeah yeah it was just a not not the best planned route not the best planned route and um, so uh, if you are new to the channel and you like this video do click that subscribe button and give it a little thumbs up we very much like them if you didn't like it you can give it a little thumbs down I don't mind I don't get upset by that sort of stuff and uh, it shows me whether I'm doing things right or wrong so feel free to give it a little thumbs down I don't mind at all please do drop in a comment especially if you didn't like it let me know why and I'll tell you off and call you names no I won't I'll try and be a big grown-up boy and not get all butt hurt because well life's a lesson isn't it and we need to learn from from things maybe you've got some tips for how I got myself into the situations I got myself into that might help me avoid doing that in future like growing my legs three inches or something <laughs> And so yeah, yeah, um, do click that subscribe button, do click that thumbs up or thumbs down, whichever one suits, and do please drop in a comment. Righty, well it's been fun, it's been sore, but it's most definitely been an adventure. I've had an awesome day, so I hope you enjoyed this. Righty, you ride safe, take care, and I shall catch you all in the next one. Uh, bye bye for now. Keep that bike from the side. Hey, no, you gotta keep that bike. Rubber side down. <laughs>